Hey guys, it's Kel. Welcome back to my channel. I believe it's already been 16 days since I posted my last video. White. Life has definitely been lifing over here. Um, funerals. I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice, but I'm getting over a cold still. Um, I've been like sick this entire week. I literally only went to work like Monday and Friday. And so lots of fluids in this video because um, yeah, I'm still sounding a little nasally, like more than normal. But I'm happy to be here. I have a great video in store for you guys today. It's gonna be amazing. And so by the title of the video, we are gonna do, um, we're gonna talk about my hair. My hair journey, you can't really see her right now, she's back in a bun. But um, yeah, we're gonna talk about my hair journey and we're gonna try out some new styles. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. And so I feel like it's that time of year again where Kel's going through another hair transformation. Not unlikely, you know. This is part of my personality. I like to change my hair around. Um, you know, if you know me, if you guys are OGs, you guys know that. I make a lot of hair content, hair videos. I'll go ahead and link some down below or, you know, all of them if you wanna go watch them. And so we're gonna keep her in the bun while we're talking about her. Um, and then once we're ready to like style and do everything, then I'll take it out. So she can stay back there for now. She's looking the way, like it's nice and aesthetic right now. So we don't need to mess that up, you know, while we're talking about her, she can stay back there. And so it'll be almost a year that I cut my hair um, and she's gotten pretty long. Like I know you guys can't tell like in the bun or whatever, but she's gotten very long. Um, I'll go ahead and insert pictures and videos of what it looked like whenever I first cut it. Of course, like the film me, I was gonna like film everything, but I think that was around the time where I just got pregnant and I just was not trying to be behind the camera or nothing like that. I was really going through a lot of healing and like um, purging of stuff. Obviously my first instinct is to film everything, but I did not film that. Um, I only really took like a few selfies, honestly. The majority of my pregnancy, honestly, I really didn't take any pictures or videos. I get a lot of questions about why I cut my hair, um, and I feel like it's always gonna be the same answer. I did another hair video, uh, like a hair chop video, I believe it was like almost two years ago. Um, I'll go ahead and link it up here and down below. And so in that video, I kind of touched on, um, you know, the fact that I'm Native American, how I really value the hair values that we have in our culture. But I only really touched on it briefly in that video. Um, I'll go ahead and explain the entire thing in this video. So as you guys may know, I am a mixed girl. I am half Native, half Puerto Rican. My mom is a full-blood Spirit Lake Dakota woman. My dad is a full-blood Puerto Rican man. And then they, you know, got together one day and here I am, so. <laughs> and so I did grow up here on the reservation. Um, I currently reside on the reservation right now. So in our culture, it is very, it's seen as like resilient and strong to always have your hair long. So if you see a lot of my old content, like you see my hair is always really long. I kept it long for a long time. I touched on that a little bit in my other Big Chop video. But yeah, I kept it long for a long time just because I felt a lot of pressure to do that. And so in our culture, the one reason, like the one instance where you can cut your hair is whenever you're mourning. And um, we do keep our hair after we cut it. Here it is. And so yes, I keep my hair. I have bags of hair. Um, make fun of me all you want, but you're not gonna make fun of me whenever someone actually gets a hold of your hair and can do something to it. So that's the reason why we keep our hair is to you know, keep bad medicine away from us. So that's a little FYI. Um, if you guys didn't know why we keep our hair, we keep our hair because you never want people to ever get a hold of your hair. You're really careful with how you handle your hair. So even if you have like loose hairs and stuff like that, you always, you're always mindful of where your hair is basically. And so two years ago, I was going through a lot of, you know, depression, anxiety, a lot of mourning, um, trauma issues then. And then whenever I got back here, I was dealing with the same stuff. I got back into therapy. Um, I was actually seeing three therapists at the same time. So once I got back, I just felt it in my spirit, like I needed to cut my hair. I needed to really just like get rid of all of it. I was actually this close to shaving my head because like I've always wanted a shaved head and nobody's looking for me. So like, why not? You know, like I'm not in a relationship. And I was always too afraid to shave my head because I was in a relationship and I thought he would leave me and whatever. And, mm. And I was like, no, like I'm a, I'm a momager, like Chris Jenner vibes. Like we're just, we're over here, we're businesswomen. So that was the vibe whenever I cut my hair. All right, so let's show what she looks like. And so for it being almost a year, I feel like this is a great year of growth because um, she's literally like almost here, like to my shoulders. So I'm like, oh, shoulder length, like, oh, I just cut you. And I think the only other time I cut my hair that short was like in high school. And I think it took me a good like three years to grow it to its full length. So I feel like we're making really good progress um, because she's almost to my shoulders. So 
think maybe like by next year I'll have my full blown long hair but by in the meantime I'm gonna have to wear like some wigs and some weaves and whatever to like make it look long it is a little PC but I guess I don't mind right now because um I kind of like the the layering and the I feel like it adds character like it makes my face not look because I do have a round very round face so if it's straight and I don't know it kind of bothers me whenever it's straight it just kind of bothers me a little bit because it either can go make me look really really young or really old like there's no in between so I like that there's like unevenness because I feel like it makes like there it leaves a question like how old is she really <laughs> so I'm like I like that question so for products for shampoo I use the Elba Botanica this freaking natural really expensive shampoo actually I believe this bottle was like almost eight dollars this one has coconut milk it's like freaking if you look at the back ingredients like super super organic and I also use a scalp brush um she's purple I got her on Amazon I love the color I don't mind this one I do miss my other one um I paid a lot of money for that other one I forget it's a really popular one too I'm gonna have to link it down below but that one was amazing because it freaking you put a battery in it and it vibrated and it was like so great just in the shower like a head massage it was nice and then conditioner wise I kind of didn't like the conditioner that I was using so I'm not gonna talk about it in this video um because I had to it kind of had like drying stuff and then it would sit like up here and a lot of buildup would build up um in the front of my head so I, I just really wasn't liking it for a deep conditioner I used the one by Palmer's I really love the way this smells because it smells just like their lotion I'm taking a second look at the ingredients back here and it looks all organic and fine all natural and organic over here you know what I mean like that's just that's just who I am now as far as products the uh, main one is honestly just my eco style gel I use this like every day um, yeah, I get, I really stock up on this because I use it for my hair and to lay my edges down too. And then for today, because I want to straighten my hair, we are going to use the Smooth Performer from Suave. I don't mind this one, um, because it's an anti-frizz, because my hair is pretty thick, um, like thicker and longer, um, I just don't, I had to apply it a couple times and my hair kind of still feels a little frizzy so I don't think it's for my hair like how long it is now I think if my hair was like shorter like it was it would have worked but um yeah it's just a little too much hair to work with so I think that's why it's kind of it's kind of she's kind of struggling a little here and as always the heat tamer from Chesame I've never actually went out and looked for another heat protectant um I just always liked this one I have a love-hate relationship with this little spray bottle right here it's like some days I like it and sometimes I don't but it works you know it works for now and then when I'm traveling I like this um, they have a little lock on this so that it doesn't spray so whatever it works and so the main hot tool that we're gonna be using in today's video is going to be the desire series flat iron from Duval Duval was kind enough to send this to me for free I did not have to pay for it so thank you Duval for doing that I really appreciate you guys wanting to partner with me if you guys are loyal to my channel you guys already know I have like I literally love working with Duval like they are just like the best company and so whenever they reached out to me to do another video with one of their products again I was like <laughs> Did I have to think about this? Whenever Duval reached out to me to do this video, I was so excited because they actually reached out to me whenever I was doing my whole like seven month hiatus of not making content. Like they reached out to me then when I wasn't making any videos. That was so hard because I had to say no. <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry. Like I'm, heal I'm on a healing journey. Like I can't say yes to you right now. But look at God, look what God did tenfold, honey. So we're gonna see how the Desire Series Flat Iron works. We're excited, let's get into this. So I'm gonna read the site for you. Um, it has professional floating solid ceramic plates still voltage for world travelers that's actually amazing because you know we're international with it so when we want to go catch a flight internationally we got a flat iron to do that okay yeah I really like the way it feels and of course we gotta show the swivel cord I've done a review on two other hot tools of Duval's and that's literally my favorite thing. Like I can literally do this all. We're just gonna be here all day. And then they also got me with the long cords. Like, is this an extension cord or not? I don't know if you could see, there's like a little dial right here where you can put the temperature you want. And then there's an on and off switch right here. The red light will tell you that it's on. This ah, oh my God, I just sprayed my whole face. Ah. The flat iron could not have come at a better time because I lost my other flat iron from Duval, I don't know where the frick it is. Um, Loki, I thought my mom stole it because like sometimes I'll borrow her stuff or she'll borrow me stuff and then she'll forget about 
the whole thing, like basically the whole transaction. <laughs> and my mom like loses stuff like really easily. Like literally I can give her something today and I bet you a million dollars she's gonna lose it tomorrow. And then she'll yell at me for telling her that she lost it. It's probably where I left it. It's probably like in my freaking luggage, my suitcase or something like that. Um, so we're not gonna talk about that actually. <laughs> Emma, who's really the crazy one, you know? I act like my mom loses stuff and like I don't lose stuff. I do lose stuff too. This hair has never been straightened before, so uh, I don't want to burn my ear. So the first hairstyle that we're gonna do is the Tracy Turnblad. The, it's like a 60s kind of flare out hairstyle. Negro Day is amazing, I wish every day was Negro Day. Something that didn't happen with the other flat iron that I've used by them is that, um, there's like a little bit of a pull. So that's the only, uh, con about this product is um there is a little bit of a pull like at the edge of it um because the last flat iron that i've had by them it didn't do that other than that i think she's doing her job though i'm a little afraid to like get this close to my neck i don't want to burn it i'm not trying to have a hickey out here Okay guys, I think that's like as good as this is gonna get. It doesn't look bad, I thought it would look. I feel like because the pieces are a little uneven, um, and it's not a little shorter. Um, that's why it's probably not looking the way I think it was gonna look. So it kind of sucks. Uh, but here's the first hairstyle. This is the way it looks. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Out of all the hairstyles, go ahead and rate them down below. Let me know in the comments which one do you like best. All right, moving on to hairstyle number two. So for the next one, I'm gonna lay my edges down. I feel a little bare whenever I don't lay them down. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. I also really need to get some of that black root spray because I feel like keep seeing it um everywhere and like I really could have used that for like my last photo shoot honestly because sometimes I get in a rush and I don't lay my edges first before I put foundation down um and I can definitely tell whenever like a difference between like me doing my edges now that I have makeup on and then whenever I do them first and then put makeup on huge difference um whenever I put them down now um I just feel like they look a lot lighter because they have foundation all over them. I do want to leave some hair out, so let's leave out like a little tiny piece like this. <laughs> Here we go. I was gonna try like a half up, half down. I actually don't like the way this looks already, so we're gonna skip this hairstyle and just go to the next one. Instead of that one, we're just gonna do a slick back bun. I always do this hairstyle anyway. It's one of my favorites. And then we're just gonna straighten these pieces regularly. So I'm gonna like kind of brown them around my face. There we go. And so this is hairstyle number two. It's actually one of my favorite hairstyles to wear already because like, honey, period, with the freaking bangs. Oh, I really love this hairstyle, so. Mm, 10, she's a 10. All right, so let's move on to the next hairstyle. Okay, this next one I'm feeling frisky because I wanna try curling my hair with a freaking flat iron. I've never done this before. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna see how it looks. So we're gonna try making some waves. I don't know. I've only watched like a few freaking like <laughs> YouTube videos about how to make waves with a flat iron. I don't know if it'll work, but we're gonna try. Oh my God, it's actually working. <laughs> okay, flat iron making waves. <laughs> that is so cute. I can't deal with it, oh yeah. So I can't. Why you be acting like you was the man? I'm not a fan. What do you not understand? Remember all them times when you told me lies? All I did was cry. Remember all them times when you told me lies? All I did was cry. You walked in the heart through the breakup. Why you be back around here? It's my makeup. I'm too much, I call your cake up. Your foundation's sweet. Oh yeah, I need a shake up. Oh, yeah. 
god, you guys, I'm loving the way this is looking. Oh my gosh. On this length, I think this looks very, very good. Like, it's looking very nice. I'm very happy with the way it's looking. So here is hairstyle number three, um, the waves. It's actually my favorite one so far. What do you guys think? Another hairstyle that I really have always wanted to try, like on my journey to be a businesswoman, is like the slick back, um, looks like I just got out of the shower hairstyle. And so with this one, we're just gonna like spray like our hair, like, you know, making it look like, you know, I need a towel. Then we're gonna use our eco style gel and like, I'm trying to look like one of those like business women from the 80s. Like, um, I'm trying to give a mix of like, androgynous and feminine. I don't know how to feel about this one either because um, I feel like my hair is a little too long. I've always wanted to wear my hair like this, like and have like a suit on, like a businesswoman suit and like have my hair like this. Um, what do you guys think? <laughs> I'm still not mad at it, I think it looks cute. Looks like I just woke up out of bed and went like this and went to work. <laughs> and then the last hairstyle I'm trying to do, hopefully it'll work. And then we're actually avoiding the side part at all costs because with these glasses, I feel like my forehead looks like 20 times bigger than it is. So the next hairstyle is gonna be a bang sort of hairstyle. <laughs> That hairstyle actually turned out really cute. I love. Yeah, this hairstyle is definitely my favorite one out of all of them. I think I like style. Yeah, like 31 wear. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this hairstyle video. Oh my god, like hair, another hair video. I haven't done one in a while, so I'm really excited about it. Thank you to Deval for partnering with me with this flat iron. If you guys are interested in trying the Desire Series flat iron from Deval, I have a coupon code, like always. So my coupon code is KEL, K E L, so you can use that on your order to get 70% off. And that coupon code is freaking amazing because it's 70% off. Um, so use that, please. Use my code. Um, save you some money because 70% is a, a lot to save. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel yet, please go do that. Um, we're getting up there. We're getting we're getting some some people are noticing us and like we're getting more subscribers. Oh my gosh. And like I always say, turn on the bell so you guys will get notifications whenever I upload a video. Also go follow me on social media. I'm very, very active on like Instagram, Snapchat. Um, please go follow me on there. Before you click out of this video, go ahead and check the description box. All of my information is down below. Yeah, comment down below your favorite hairstyle that I did. Um, yeah, I'm really loving this one the best, honestly. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. So I'm gonna get out of here now. But that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week in a new video. Bye. Oh my God, I finally made it through to the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My freaking asparagus is on fire. Like, no one can tell me I'm not a hard worker. I came through with the lighting and the makeup and the hair to be a distraction because underneath all of this, um, you could, t like, literally tell that I've been blowing my schnoz like no other. <laughs> can, can you hear my neighbor's dogs barking? <laughs> oh my god, my neighbor's dog is barking and he's like, he literally was like, shut up. <laughs> but it's funny. Thank you. All right, I gotta go. So I love you guys. Love you guys. That's fine.